So, we are two waves into the Mario Kart 8 Booster Course Pass, and we've already seen the likes of Waluigi Pinball, Coconut Mall, Shroom Ridge, and Mushroom Gorge added into the game. So far we've had a mix of fan favourites, forgotten gems, some genuine surprises, and Toad Circuit! <sighs> Regardless of what you think of the DLC so far, putting thoughts on the general visual qualities aside, you can't deny that it's definitely brought an increase in discussion and attention to the game, and it's certainly nice to be able to have access to new content since, let's face it, the next Mario Kart is probably a long way away assuming it's still Mario Kart at this point. So, a quick overview on what the DLC is, in case you're living under a rock, or don't play Mario Kart at all but for some reason have decided to click on this video. The Booster Course Pass adds 48 newly remastered racetracks from the previous Mario Kart games, to be released in 6 waves, with 8 racetracks per wave. The last wave is set to release by the end of 2023, at which point the game will have, altogether, 96 racetracks, which is honestly phenomenal. Personally, I've really liked both waves so far, and I've enjoyed seeing the discussions surrounding this DLC. More specifically, the predictions people have come up with for what racetracks will be appearing in future waves. With that in mind, I decided to make my own predictions. Sure, there's been tons of videos already talking about their predictions, so in the grand scheme of things I'm not really contributing to much, but I figured, yeah, whatever, I want to do it anyway. So that's that. I'll be splitting this into two videos, with this one covering waves 3 and 4, and the next one going over 5 and 6. I'm fairly new to making predictions, and I imagine this will be very difficult since Nintendo's security is just very top notch. They don't let anything leak out whatsoever, and they've done a fantastic job at keeping information about this DLC hidden away. They're just so incredible at what they do, it's honestly... God damn it, Nintendo. Yeah, so there have been three leaks so far. The first leak comprised of a blurred banner which, when observed closely, reveals quite a few tracks that are, or were, previously unannounced. You could actually make out quite a few Wave 2 tracks on here. This wasn't so bad since most of them are too blurred to make out, and it sparked some interesting discussions online. The next leak happened just as the first wave was released. This one was more subtle, and at first people thought it was fake, understandably since there wasn't really any proof aside from a video recording. This one shows off most of the prefixes for each track slot, which means that we know what game that racetrack is going to come from. The leak was more or less confirmed once the wave 2 tracks were announced, all of which corresponded correctly with the prefix leak. Then there was the music leak. Yeah, Nintendo really screwed up with this one. When Wave 2 was released, they left behind very short music clips belonging to racetracks that weren't released yet. Despite only lasting a second or two, we know exactly what they all are. What makes this worse is that we know exactly where each track on this leak is on the booster course path. This leak is so bad because now we know pretty much all of the racetracks that are going to be in Wave 3. So this half of the predictions video isn't really going to be much of a prediction segment. There are a couple of small unknowns though, which I'll talk about, but regardless, I'll go over what that wave is going to be. If you don't want to be spoiled, I suggest you skip to this timestamp here. Okay, so, wave 3, here we go. Starting with the Rock Cup, the first course will be London Loop from Mario Kart Tour, Honestly, I was expecting this one to be in Wave 2, but I guess I wasn't that far off. I haven't played this one yet, as I'm still pretty new to Tor, but I've heard good things about it, so I'm curious. The second course is Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS, and this one is a huge surprise to me. This one would have probably never come across my mind beforehand, similar to how Snowland did not in Wave 2. They've recently uploaded a teaser to Wave 3, which shows a glimpse of this track, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. One of my most hyped tracks at the moment, for sure. Next we have a toss-up between Boo Lake and Broken Pier from Mario Kart Super Circuit. 
The reason why we don't know for sure which one it is is because they both share the same music, so it could be either one. Personally though, I think it's going to be Boo Lake, and the only reason I have for that is because it has Boo in the name, for King Boo. It has the character recognition, and because of that I think it's more likely. But now that I've said that, it's going to be Broken Pier. Concluding the Rock Cup is Alpine Pass, or Rock Rock Mountain for all of you non-British people, from Mario Kart 7. This one's probably the most predictable one, a rock course in a rock cup. I'm quite happy about it though, it's a very attractive course and it should be fun to race through. Moving over to the Moon Cup, for the first track we have Berlin Byways from Mario Kart Tour, another one that I haven't played yet but heard good things about. Seems we're staying in Europe for this wave. All I really know about this track is that the soundtrack is amazing. Looking forward to trying it. Next up we have another toss-up, this time between Waluigi Stadium and Wario Coliseum from Mario Kart Double Dash. It's going to be Waluigi Stadium. I'm sorry to those who want Coliseum, I know it's the more memorable track and it hasn't been remastered yet, so it would have been nice, but it's going to be Waluigi Stadium simply because it was spotted in the Banner League. Who knows though, maybe they'll pull a surprise and do Coliseum later on. Personally, I'm very happy with Stadium, and again, it's not a track I would have predicted if it wasn't leaked. The third track is Merry Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. This one isn't much of a surprise when you consider that Wave 3 will likely release around December. It's a Christmas-themed track, and it's one of the best ones in Tour, if what I heard from other people is true. Should be fun to play. Alongside Peach Gardens, this track was also showcased in the newly released teaser trailer, and it looks like they're bringing in halfpipes to Mario Kart 8 which is great news. It's also got anti-grav, very nice. Last, but certainly not least, is Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 7. I had this one in my predictions before the music leak, but I am so happy that this one's going to be in Mario Kart 8. In terms of visuals, it's the best Rainbow Road in my opinion, and the fact that it closes off the halfway point of the DLC makes it a poetic conclusion to Wave 3. Definitely one of the tracks I'm looking forward to the most. So that is Wave 3. I suppose it's worth quickly going over the question of, will Nintendo change any of this now that it's been fully leaked? No, they're not going to change it. I imagine the whole DLC has been laid out by now, and they honestly have no need to change anything. It's not like this is going to deter people from buying the DLC. If anything, it'll generate more hype. Don't expect them to switch courses around. The teaser hammers this down even further. I don't think I'd really want them to change it either, to be honest. I really like the track selection, and as long as I don't butcher any of the racetracks, it could very well be the best one yet. What do you think though? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, but for now, let's move on to Wave 4. So Wave 4, likely to release sometime in the spring of 2023. My guess would be around the end of March, but it could just as well be later than that. With this wave, the only tracks that have been leaked for certain are tour tracks so if you don't care much about that, then there isn't much in the way of spoilers here. However, if that's something you do care about, well, you might as well just stop watching here. Starting with the Apple Cup. I'm pretty sure it's an apple. The first track that we know for certain is Amsterdam Drift from Mario Kart Tour, another tour track that I haven't had the chance to play yet. Looks like a beautiful track though, should be a good start to the cup. The second track, and the first actual prediction I'm making in this video, I think is going to be DK Summit from Mario Kart Wii. This one has a couple things going for it. It looks like it's in the banner leak, and it's already in Mario Kart Tour, which boosts its chances. As we've seen in the recent Wave 3 teaser, they're bringing in half pipes, which this race is full of, so I think its odds are high. Either way, it's a great track, and I'd be happy to see it in the game. For the third track, I had a hard time deciding between these two, so I'm going to mention both. It's a toss-up between Delfino Square and Airship Fortress, both from Mario Kart DS. Now, according to the leaks, there is only one more slot for a DS track, and both of these are fan favourites. Airship Fortress is already in tour, which could mean that this is the obvious option, but they've done surprise courses before, like they're doing in Wave 3 with Peach Gardens. Delfino Square would fit more with the theme of the cup, and it has been data mined for Tor. I'd love to hear other opinions on this though. Then there's the last track, the one that has no prefix on it whatsoever, making it difficult to predict. It's worth noting though that the last track in the Propeller Cup in Wave 2 didn't have a prefix either, and it turned out to be a whole new track. 
Either this will be something we've never seen before, or it could be an already data mined track for Tor. Yoshi's Island, for example, though that might not be the final name, that's just what people are calling it. Nevertheless, Yoshi's Island is the one I'm going to go for, concluding the Apple Cup. I don't know much about it, and it was hard to find any info on it, but if we get any updates on it, then I might make a video on it. Moving over to the Boomerang Cup, the first track has been leaked to be Singapore Speedway. Finally, a tour track that I have played. I really like this one, and I think that it's a no-brainer that it's coming to Mario Kart 8. Well, it's a no-brainer that all of the city tracks are coming to the game, but you know what I mean, it's good. For the second track, I'm predicting that it's going to be Dino Dino Jungle from Mario Kart Double Dash. I was originally going to put Daisy Cruiser here, but I feel like that track is more summer themed, so that'll likely be in Wave 5. Dino Dino Jungle feels like a safe pick. It's in tour, it's instantly recognisable, and it's fun to drive through. It's also hinted at in Coconut Mall, if that banner means anything. I'd be more than happy to see this one in Mario Kart 8, it's a great track. The third track is another GBA track, and for this I'm going to go with a slightly less exciting prediction, Bowser Castle 3. I pick Bowser Castle because there aren't many Bowser Castles in Mario Kart 8 to begin with. Well, there's only one. It would make sense for Nintendo to take advantage of the DLC and add more, and Bowser Castle 3 is already in tour, and it came out recently, so I'd say it's likely. I wouldn't mind this, I do like it, but it would definitely be the weak link in the wave overall. Last but not least, Los Angeles Laps from Mario Kart Tour. It's been leaked, so it's more or less confirmed. As somebody who hates Los Angeles with a burning passion, I'm not sure how to feel about this one, but as far as Tor is concerned, they've managed to make it look good, so I'll be open to it. Regardless, this concludes Wave 4 of the Booster Course Pass. So those are my predictions for Waves 3 and 4, or just 4 I guess. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if by the time they release Wave 3 they just accidentally leak the whole DLC. It seems with every update they make, they make some kind of mistake. This was the first time I've made a video like this, and like I said in the beginning, I don't do predictions very often. Nevertheless, I'd still love to hear your thoughts on what I've got, and be sure to share your own predictions if you have any. A video covering Waves 5 and 6 is currently in the works, and that one was much more difficult to make, so stay tuned for that. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!